Let me show you. Do a scene. Just do a scene. Wait, can you tell us a little bit about what happened this evening? I'm too ashamed of Come me. on. I'm a much better person. I'm older than that. I'm better than that. I should have rolled off the money and I should have forgot about it, but it just fucking yeah. irked me. And my blood was boiling and you just shouldn't have been able to get away with it. And I tried to deal with it diplomatically. I tried to be as reasonable as possible and all it was was confrontational and defensive on their part, and there was no giving, there was no compromise, and they instigated all kinds of violence, and they ended up getting pushed. And actually, it was at the end of it, they had their money, thousands of dollars all over the place, and after he got the shit, well, he got knocked out almost by Reese, and it saved him, it saved his life, and his face and turned purple. What Trista did at the end was she took our twelve hundred dollars that we had uh, that we had spent on their bullshit shit, and we should have actually taken more because someone was purchased in large amounts off a bunch of people we know, where the result was the same. It was absolutely nothing. I mean, we had had a certain amount of beers, almost to the point of getting drunk, and by taking it, it was like taking some sort of sobriety pill. And it was terrible. And to the point that they might not have believed me, Phil, or Reese, or 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 Todd, or what's her name? Leanne. Mm -hmm. But they know Tr Trista, I guess. And I turned to them and I said, in all honesty, you know Trista, you respect her, you know, whatever. Ask her what happened. And Trista backed it up 100% that it was bullshit. And they still continued... They almost said, get what they said verbatim was get the fuck out of here and you're not getting shit back. So basically, fuck you in a nutshell. And my buddy Reese said, you know what? And I told him, I said, look, buddy, I said, we're not leaving without some sort of compensation or our money back. And the guy basically laughed or thumbed his nose at us and Reese just said, listen, you fucking asshole. He said he's not trying to rip us off and, and that... Uh... Uh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. And I can understand fully, maybe he bought a bag of bad pills. Well, that's the cost of doing business. If you're a businessman and you buy a terrible product, well, you know what, you don't pawn it off on your customers and fuck everybody else over. You take your loss and you move on because you've been making money because of it. And... And you just restole them, fuck you, we're getting your money back or a product back or something that's gonna fucking appease us right now or whatever. And his girlfriend said, get the hell out of here and ran, like I mean like a, a fucking terrorized banshee at him and hit him once in the head and that was once. And it, it calmed down, I grabbed her, took her away and whatever. It happened again. She went after him again. And after he had taken her and thrown her away from him, on the bed came at him, and they ended up, you know, rolling over the bed onto like this this area in between the bed and the wall. And the other guy had the upper hand, and we saw it, and he tried he took he tried to swing a couple of times, but he obviously didn't know what the fuck he was doing. And Reese has been trained in 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 Winchester, though he could have done a number on him, but he got him, he wrapped his leg around him in a choke position with his head right there and his leg locked. And he goes, you fucker, I'll fucking kill you. I'll fucking kill you. And the guy was threatening. You, see, like, you said, you said, don't mess with me, I'll fucking kill you? Or don't fuck with me, I'll yeah, kill you? Yeah, don't fuck with me. That's I'll kill you. Said, don't fuck with me, I'll kill you, or I'll get people, or blah, blah, blah. We sat him in a headlock like this, and the guy kept throwing stuff back, and his testosterone level and his excitement level was so high. He was trying to hit him, and I was holding it back, but he finally connected once. And I guess at that point, Trista had taken her twelve hundred bucks, and no left. But I, even at the end, I was cleaning the guy's wound. I went to the bathroom and. I felt sorry for it, but you shouldn't be pawning off shit to, to people. So we figured we taught them a lesson. You've got me on camera. <laughs> you know. So, 
What do you think, Phil? What does it sound like to you? Does it sound like an entertaining evening? <laughs> and uh, evening with gangsters and drugs and people being beaten up. I'm glad that part of the machine, but I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't feel like going out there. That's why I didn't feel like going Yeah, out. maybe he knew that the, the, the fit was going to hit the shan. Like no, you, you have to understand the shit that I was going through all weekend, man. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't have to understand the shit. Man. I mean, I went to grab Reese's legs off of him, and Reese connected once. And his eyes just split open like that. Aren't you glad you weren't there, Philip? Yeah. It would be repugnant if I were to go there, bring her back, and say, here you go, there's your bag of meat. But what he is saying is that I go down there and find some beautiful woman that's subservient to my needs. And all she does is stand at a bin long shot. That's it. Stands there and she makes 85, 80, 100,000 a month, and they give the husband the money. And if I'm working on top of that, I, I just don't understand what maybe I'll like her, you know what I mean? Why not take a, a trip to Moscow and take a chance? That's pretty weird. It is weird. I mean, life is weird in general. But he would pay you how much? Sixty thousand dollars, Six. Six hundred thousand. Six hundred thousand. And that's about twenty thousand U.S. or so. To go, but you'd have to marry her, you know. You don't do that for being money. You do that for sex. Sex slavery. Yeah, it's oh, no, this no, may no, be no, your no, entree no, 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 into the, the Philip, skin trade. You to Ninety thousand a month. This guy, this guy is actually a Catholic to the point where, well, he's not. He's a he's a mobster, but he's he's got. I know you're rolling your eyes and you think I'm naive, and it's not the case, man. I'm fucking. I'm on top of what he's thinking before he's getting back to me about it. You know? Why would you want to be involved? Like you could go over there. It, because I'd like to write a book about it. You could go over there, find the most beautiful girl who's subservient to your needs, and bring her home and just keep her at home while you go and out. And how is that interesting? Who's going to read about that? I could write it in three pages. Why do you want to write about it? My, I want to start it off with my... My move, my depression, I'm going to lay the script for depression at the beginning of my novel. And then I'm going to, you know, the big move, and then the ups and downs, and then trips to fucking Moscow to marry chicks to bring them back to have a bargain. I don't even have to, she can live with me. She, he's going to give me an apartment, as a matter of fact, when I come back to live in, and she, she stays at my house and she's obedient to me. What's in it for him? Oh, I know how terrible this sounds to you, Tristan, because I, I totally respect, and I'm not trying to be condescending towards women, but you know what? In general, we are still creatures. And men will always be men, and we will always have our primal urges. And to be dominant in a sexual relationship is what we all aspire to. Hey, did you get your money back? You're filming me. Can, yeah, so we're doing a little documentary on this. Uh, on this. Yeah. What was the experience? Did you get your money back? Did you get my money my back? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I've got a new Oh, God, I don't care. No, no. Yeah, we get we get the money back. We get the money back. Doesn't matter. You get the money back because I'll tell you right now. I don't care what you think. It was horseshit what you ate, and we got the money back. Well, it wasn't what we asked.
it, 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 it wasn't anything. And if it was anything... Yeah, it was a diet pill. I could eat, that's what it was. I could have eaten a teaspoon of sugar and I would have gotten more. Here's two. I don't have any cheese. You said it was like a sugar pill? You one, but that's, that's only fair that you get it. You said it was like a sugar pill without the sugar, right? <laughs> Didn't you say it was like a sugar pill without the sugar? Yeah, basically. Uh, <laughs> are you gonna? Are you gonna?